Welcome to the Great Exodus series. My name is Michael. I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Past Movement Foundation. And today we have a special topic. And the topic today is the provision of God. What do we understand in the provision of God? We know that God has promised us that He will close us like the lilies in the field and that He will give us all the provision we are asking for. Now let us see what kind of provision, let us give, allow me to give an example, our ministry for example. What would be the provision the Lord would provide? Would he just help us out of thin air? Would the necessary funding and provision will just come out of nowhere? No, of course not. But what the Lord would do to provide the provision he would, after we have made out a call for support, he would then open the heart, the soul and mind of the people to follow this calling. He would tell them directly through the Spirit, open your heart, your soul and your mind and support this and that ministry. In this way, the provisions are coming to the full-time ministries. But before that can happen, these ministry must ask for help. It's always written in the Bible, ask and it will be given to you. So we, for our mission to Cambodia, we are asking for help. Other ministry are also asking for help. I know that some people are very much annoyed about tithing and about helping and supporting ministries. But this is how the provision of the Lord will spread to the righteous ministries that will help the needy, that will lift up the nameless and faceless. These are full-time ministries, required to be full-time ministries, so that they can look for the lost sheep. And there are so many lost sheep. Let me give you an example of our mission of Cambodia that we are in right now. You have no idea how much suffering is here. You see children naked without clothes because the families are so poor. You see people without job. You see people sick. You see people maimed from the wars. You see people with a lot of problems, big families, not enough food, no education, no money for school, etc., etc. And you have so many things where you can help and so little resources and all the suffering it would break your heart if you're here with us the lord has sent us to cambodia and that's the reason why we are placing the request for help so that we can lift up many more people as we have planned when we are now here and we see in phnom penh in cambodia we see the suffering and the heartbreaking situations that are here. Then we see that we do not have enough resources to fulfill our mission to Cambodia. And for that purpose, the Lord will send us the provisions. And as I told you before, the provisions will come to the people that are guided through the Holy Spirit to support a ministry. I have never seen anybody who was forced to support a ministry. I have never seen anybody who did not want to support, who has given a donation. I have never seen anything like that, except in some churches maybe, where you are required to tithe or you are not anymore a member. But this is not with our ministry. Our ministry is telling you, please help us so that we can lift up the suffering people here that we can lift up the needy, the nameless and faceless. You look in the eyes of these people, then it really breaks your heart. And for that purpose, please open your heart and your mind and your soul and assist us, support us. Now, on this part of the provisions, I want to go into scripture. And I want to tell you, let us start with Luke 6.38. And I will change now to the, let's see which it is. 
my computer. Yes, here. Let's go now to look. 638. And I will read you what will be part for the provision of the Lord. If and it shall be given unto you, good measure, pressed down, and shaken together, and running over, shall men give into your bosom. For with the same measure that you me measure with all, it shall be measured to you again. The theme is, in this case, selfless love. You put other before yourself as an act of love. It is actually an act of sacrifice, and that's the reason why we are also called daily sacrifices, the people who follow triple grace and the follower of the past. We understand that we have to put others before ourselves. Let's continue with another scripture. That is Matthew 16. Matthew 16, 24 to 27. Then said Jesus unto his disciples, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself, and take up his cross, and follow me. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it, and whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. For what is a man profited if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? For the Son of Man shall come in the glory of his Father with his angels, and then he shall reward every man according to his works. These are all related to the provision of God. And then John. John, 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 John 14, 12 to 14. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. And whatsoever you shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. Come together in prayer and support for our mission to Cambodia. Allow the Lord that he provides a provision Let us have another look at Matthew 18. Nineteen and twenty. Again I say unto you, that if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask, it shall be done for them of my Father which is in heaven. For where two or three are gathered together in my name. There am I in the midst of them. And now I would like to close this video for the provision of God. I hope you understand that how the provision will come to a full-time ministry. And by following the call of the Lord to help such ministries, you will also receive great blessings for it as it is written in the Bible, that the Lord will come and will reward you, reward you for all of your works. So please do not underestimate how important it is to support ministries and to help to fulfill their destinies and their work. And they are looking for the lost sheep.
and to lift up the needy and the nameless and faceless. The provision of the Lord will not only be given to us in the ministries, but it will also be given to you. In a similar way, the Lord will send people to you, and he has opened their hearts so that they come and support you. There does not always have to be money. In many other cases, it could be support, or you will find, you will find a way to live your lifelong dream or something like that. But it will come suddenly, and suddenly you have the feeling, oh, I must help here, I must support there. And when you do this, all the blessings will come back to you. Now let me close it with one more scripture. Philippines. Philippines. Sorry for the noise. The Philippines. Yeah. Philippines. Four. Philippians four. Six to seven. Philippians four. Six to seven. Be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Thank you. Thank you that you have listened to this message of provision. And I thank you for all your prayers and all your donations for the mission in Cambodia. When you have seen all the suffering here, your heart will break. But I know I have a lot of people that will come for us to help us with your kind donations so that we can lift up the needy and help the children, take them out of suffering and give them education. Thank you for all of your support. My name is Michael. I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Pass Movement, and we are now in the mission to Cambodia. Thank you. Have a great day. I will see you again for the next video. Maranatha.